In this video, I'll quickly run through the steps to prepare your 3D model, so you can become your very own VTuber. For rigging, I highly recommend using Mixamo to speed up the process. Upload your model to Mixamo, make sure your joints are positioned correctly, and Mixamo will automatically rig your character. Once the process is done, simply download your skin model as an FBX. After importing your model into Blender, you can use the CATS plugin to automatically fix the naming convention of your bones. Then, you can go ahead and add any additional bones for accessories or hair. Now we can start adding shape keys for visings and expressions. In object mode, you can add a shape key in the object data tab by clicking the plus sign under the shape keys. The base's shape key should be left untouched. With your shape key selected, you can go into edit mode and start adjusting your vertices into the shapes you want. After creating your visings, you can then create any additional expressions. You can even hide small versions of different objects you might want to use on your character. The shape keys will automatically spawn them in and max size whenever you trigger this expression. Once you're done making your shape keys, you can then export your model using cats leaving the export settings as they are. In Unity, rename your scene, then drag and drop your character's folder and the VRM Unity package. Click on your character and assign a humanoid animation type. Configure your rig, making sure your bones are assigned correctly. After configuring your rig, change your materials location to external. You should create a materials folder where you can then assign the correct VRM shaders. Once that's done, drag and drop your character model into the scene. Under the VRM tab, export as a humanoid. And after a few seconds, it should create a series of folders in your project. Hide your previous model by unchecking the box under Inspector. Then drag and drop your newly created VRM file into your scene. Here you'll be able to adjust a variety of settings on your model. Since I don't have any eye tracking on my model, I turned off look at head and look at bone.
double click on blend shapes to open up your settings for expressions. Go through the blend shapes and assign your expressions by raising your shape keys to 100 for each individual expression. You can click Add Blend Shape Clip to add any additional expressions you may have. On the drop down for your character, click on Secondary. On this menu, you can assign spring bones. Since I have 5 extra bones, I type in 5 under root bones. Then under armature, I select each of my extra bones and drop them into a root bone slot. You can test to see if your spring bones are working by hitting play and moving your armature. As a final bit, I add a blinker script to my model. Now it's time to export your final BRM. Export as a humanoid again, and leave the settings as they are. I recommend saving it to an easy to find folder so that you can open it up in the BRM program of your choice. Here I load up my VRM on VC face. After waiting a few seconds for it to detect my camera, I can then start moving around to test how well my model works. And that was a quick rundown on how to go from Blender to VRM. Hope it helps. Let me know if you have any questions.